when we made it, I made it as a charity record, I was producing it. And, and we made that record and it said, class of, I'm going to say, I don't know, what was it 15, uh, wait, 15 years ago? It was well, 97 or 98, something said, like that. Yeah. class of 98, right? And so we made the record and I, ha I had the guy doing the voiceover. And I said, hmm, maybe we might have to release it again next year. So we did class of 99, class of 2000. We got to like 2002. We thought, we'll never need it beyond there. <laughs> right? and I've never been able to get beyond 2002 or whatever it's, it is. Because it, it, it's been going on and on and on, that, that little song. Well, still poignant. And, and it, yeah. it applies. But we should talk about the movie. I'm happy to. So hello, old sport. How are we doing? Oh, well. <laughs> I have to. I'm sorry. I, I'm no Gatsby. <laughs> no, you're I'm more your Nick Carraway. I am both within and without. That's going to be one of my questions, actually. Which one do you identify most with? I think, look, look, I think everybody... It's funny that I, I think I do actually identify with Gatsby. I mean, if okay. I, 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 I'd sort of avoid that question because it could huge, sound hugely pretentious. And with Nick Carraway, because I think I identify with the part of Gatsby, which is he's a, from a very small, humble beginnings, which I am. He sort of sees a, 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 a vision of his life with... You know, I'm 50, so I can kind of say, I can say what I like, I don't really care what people think. You know, and I did, I had a vision of my life, and it's not exactly uh, uh, as you imagine it, as a 15-year-old boy might imagine, Jake against me, but I kind of pursued that life, you know, so I relate to that part of it. On the other hand, Nick Carraway is a storyteller, and he watches his story, and he's in it. So I relate to that part, you know. Talk about imagining. There's a quote from you saying, uh, "All the films I make are about sixty percent of what I imagine them to be." Yeah. So how how does this one? About sixty percent. About sixty percent. What about the, see the the party scene is it's, yeah. it's everything we we hope for out of a Buzz Lerman film. Right. It's the colorful, the dancing, the choreography, mm -hmm. and everything. So how do you create an atmosphere like that how, on set that day? I'm part of a large team. I've got a great collaboration with my wife, CM Catherine Martin. She has a couple of Oscars. Just a couple. Just a couple. But uh, it extends beyond that. I, I've, I've worked with my um, music coordinator and co-music producer for 15 years and, and so on and so forth. My, my writer I went to high school with. You know, we're, we're a, a circus troupe, you know. Having said that, you know, we were together the other night, there were like five generations of assistants, they all produce now, right? Having said that, the one trick in these party scenes is that every single person on screen is a character. No one is an extra in these movies. They know who they are, they know where they've come from, they are characters. And when we were collaborating with Mucha Prada, who's an old friend of mine who did the costumes, she makes clothes, I don't know if you've heard of her, but you know, she was blown away with the idea that each person was a character. And she was really happy to be dressing each person in the, in the party scene as a character. When they're characters, you can crank up the music and you know, we've had a few glasses of alcohol and crazy things happen. <laughs> I gotta let you go. So we do something called five questions. Five quick questions, sure. one word answers. Uh, I'll try. I, I'm not a one word guy. I've noticed. We'll work on it though. Lennon or McCartney? Um, greatest songwriting partnership, I think, ever. Oh, which one? Which one do you identify with? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. the question is Lennon or McCartney. McCartney. See, how can I do it in one <laughs> word? Um, Lennon or McCartney. I, I can't do it in one word, but I can actually tell you something. As individuals, they're absolutely brilliant. Together, there's something else. Cool. Uh, writing or directing? It's all the same thing. Hitchcock or Kubrick? Um, mm, well, they've all helped me. Cool. Spielberg or Scorsese? Um, mm, they both helped me. <laughs> These are good answers, though. And in one word, The Great Gatsby. Mm, I'm going to use a few. The Go American, for it. The American Hamlet. Thank you so much. Uh, I can't, I'm, I'm going to try on one words next time, okay? Yeah, no, next time. Here's Thank one you. word, thanks. Yeah. Here's one word, thanks. That was good. That was a good ending. Hopefully you got that. That was good. <laughs>